I just made the yummiest creamy pesto shrimp pasta for dinner. I'm eating it right now. It only took me 15 minutes and it's so good. And I'm sharing one of my favorite low carb pasta swap outs. So here's how I made it. First, I'm gonna cook the shrimp. I thawed them in water and I'm patting them dry with a paper towel. I got these ones at Sprouts. They're wild caught, which I love. I also like that they're peeled and deveined and they also took the tails off so you can eat it right in the pasta. I'm cooking the shrimp in my cast iron skillet that I have heating over medium heat. And as soon as you add them in, they're almost ready to cook right away. They only take like a minute or two per side. I transferred the cooked shrimp to this plate. So now in the same cast iron skillet, I added a little more ghee and olive oil. I'm gonna cook down these bell pepper and onion until they're nice and soft, maybe like five minutes. For the pasta, I love using Hearts of Palm pasta. It's my favorite keto-friendly pasta swap out. I especially love this one, My Natural Heaven, specifically because the only ingredient is Heart of Palm. A lot of the other ones I've tried, like by Palmini, they have citric acid in it, so the pasta tastes really briny to me. It doesn't taste as neutral. This one's like perfectly neutral. It's so keto-friendly. This is like the easiest pasta swap out. This is what it looks like inside the package. I just cut it open. It's just in a plastic bag like this. You can cook it straight as is, but I like to drain. There's just a little bit of water in here. It's not a ton. I mostly like to do this just so that it doesn't water down my sauce too much. It's like seriously just a tablespoon or two, but I've noticed I love it even more when I drain it just a little bit like this, but look how great. They have the perfect al dente bite. These are so good. The veggies are soft. I added in some garlic to cook for just 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna add in the pesto. I'm using this one from Costco. I actually really like it and I'm okay with dairy right now, but I have a recipe on my site for dairy-free pesto if you can't have dairy. And for just a little bit of creaminess, I'm gonna add in a little heavy cream, but if you're not having dairy, you can use nut pods. It's one of my favorite dairy-free swap outs. Now I will stir this around. And now I'll add in the hearts of palm pasta and just toss it. This is like the fastest dinner. It tastes so much like pasta. This one's really good. And then I'll also add back in. The and now I'll add in the hearts of palm pasta and just toss it. This is like the fastest dinner. It tastes so much like pasta. This one's really good. And then I'll also add back in. I added in a handful of chopped spinach and I'm just gonna let it cook for like maybe a minute just to warm. I don't like my spinach too soggy. And I think this dinner is done. The pasta just needs to warm. I topped it with some toasted pine nuts just to give it some crunch and texture and it's also really yummy. And then a little sprinkle of Parmesan cause again, I'm okay with cheese, but you could definitely leave that out. But this is so, I mean, it's not the prettiest, but it is delicious these noodles and the shrimp. I love this one. And it is done in less than 15 minutes. I can't beat that.